Welcome back to another game. Let's see if we can regain that streak. I know we lost it, we lost the glasses, but you know, at least I have some cool lights behind me now. It's not just a dark void. Let's see how we do. All right, starting this game and I am white. Again, I'm picking the Vienna as my strategy to get to a thousand. And I, I pretty much know what to do for the Vienna. The idea is you want to uh, start opening up your, your center, opening up your bishops. And then after this one moves up, put the horse here and we're good. All right, so we have a few things we can do here. Uh, they want to stack our pawns this way. Uh, we can just continue developing, leave that there. Um, if they do take, yep, like that, we just take back and he holds like that. Uh, I was thinking about doing something a little cheap, like, but I don't think he's gonna let me do it. That's that's what's got me thinking. Maybe, maybe, maybe he, he won't see it. We're in the 900s and he won't see the easy scholars mate. No, yeah, he's fine. Uh, but then I'm going to add the horse here. And then I'm gonna move my bishop to a square where he can actually be used a little bit easier. Let's say, I'd say here's a good spot. And now we just castle. Actually, before castling, I want to uh, avoid this. Or the, uh, kind of like the bishop going that way. Actually, that'd probably be the best move he can do right now, because I move out of the way, he takes the knight, and then I lose castling rights. So what I want to do is maybe move this pawn up so that doesn't happen. But I don't think he's thinking that way. Thank God, <laughs> right? Thank God he's not thinking that way because if he was, I'd definitely be in trouble. But most of the time I end up overthinking a position to the point that I can see different ways where he's just, you know, tearing me apart. Remarkably, sometimes they don't see that happening. You know, they don't actually see the, uh... okay, this is getting interesting now. So I'm thinking, so I take, <laughs> take, take, and then I'm down a bishop. <laughs> like That was the easy math question. Let's see. I mean, we can just we can just move it back. Just move it out of the way. We'll push this guy up. At least that's the plan. Push this guy up and get this horse here. And it should look pretty good. Today is Wednesday. And we do have the Spartan group workouts happening today. We're going to be doing an upper body exercise workout. So come join us. It's a lot of fun. It's a live stream. So you're able to comment, let me know how you're doing. And we get to suffer together going through workouts. Again, it's mostly calisthenics. So you don't really need to focus on buying weights or any of that expensive gym equipment. Let's see. Again, I'm going to move. I, I said I was going to move it, so I'm going to move it. And now I'm not too sure. Yeah, so if I can move this guy and loop around to then take this. <laughs> it seems complicated, but I'm expecting this and then this um, if they're a bad player. A lot, of, A lot of hoping going on here. We'll see though. Also, no coffee today. Sad day. Let's see. I 
I think I want to start moving the rook all the way on the left side into the game. Seems like they're not even here right now. Like what like what are they doing? Uh Hmm. I'm gonna move the queen here. And then, so I'm gonna move the queen here, put myself here, and just start um, making them nervous. <laughs> I'll start making them nervous, because uh, if he starts seeing that uh, he's got an, a checkmate around the corner, things are gonna get a little nervous. Because he did protect this pawn, and we were just talking about that pawn and how we kind of want to wrap around, but now we've got the queen. Queen's also protected two times. Bishop's protected. Um, all right, again, uh, if we continue with our, our idea, uh, kind of threatening a mate. All right, he still can't. He still can't take the bishop, so nothing really scary there. Um, let's see. His pawns are everywhere. All right, let's start opening up the position. Let's see. He can't take the pawn, or he can't take the bishop because if he takes then that would expose him to a check. So, unfortunately, my bishop is here to stay for the for the meanwhile, for the meantime. Although, if I could get my white bishop here, that'd be pretty interesting. So maybe if I do like last game, I just moved down and then over. All right. I think he's making space for his rook. I think he wants to start using it. I want to start breaking through. Oh, and now the rook is pinned. The rook is pinned. Look at that. It just works out, and and let's see. Do we give him a bunch of checks? Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of. Uh, there's probably a really good way to go about. You know about this right now. I'm thinking we might have to trade queens. Yeah, I think we'll trade queens. We have the advantage. I've got him running around the board. And, oh man, if there was a way to check him again, I'd take the queen for free. But there really isn't a clear way to do it because he's on the white and there's nothing that could attack. So let's just take the queen. All right, he was really, really ready for that uh, that queen trade. We'll pin the knight on on the king, and let's let's start moving. That's right. Uh, unfortunately, oh, never mind. Uh, I'm going to have to say we're going to have to start opening up. I do have more rooks than he does. And I want to avoid having a fork on the rooks. So I'm thinking let's start let's start moving our knight 
Because if we can start uh, implementing an actual attack, then we'd actually have a viable strategy to actually do something. Because right now we're, we're, we're a little paralyzed. We don't have very much. We're up by a pawn. That's like nothing. So positionally though, he's in the center of the board. I think I think he's seeing what I what I kind of want to do. I want to start moving to okay, so he opened up. Now man. Well, let's uh Trying to think of like where he could land, because he's gonna land on a dark square. Uh, okay, we need we need to start making moves. I, we don't want to run out of time like the last time. There's a lot of thinking on this one though. So I want to attack that horse, then moves here. And one thing that I've definitely learned in my time playing, in my short time playing chess is that you don't really want to move the same piece too many times because then you kind of get stuck uh yeah I, I i saw that saw that coming uh and yeah so now i'm i'd say i'm threatening i'm threatening something at, at some point it's just going to be clear to me and I'm gonna be like oh yeah that's that's what I had planned the whole time I just wanted to uh, attack this you know um, let's see let's there's no real viable strategy there well let's start let's start let's start moving the night if we start moving the night then hey you know there's a chance Can't do that. Knight takes. Uh, knight's protected by the bishop. I take that pawn in two ways. But if I go this way, hmm. Looks like I have something. Let's see. All right. I can. I could, I could I can take a pawn. Okay. I'm protecting the bishop though. And let's see. I'm still nervous about this guy. I really want to take this guy though. Let's see. If I, maybe if I, ooh, interesting, interesting. So a uh, fork, um, well, I don't want to, I don't want to lose with an open board like this. I don't want to lose my bishop. So if I want to lose a piece, I think I'm okay uh, losing my horse. So not, not too worried about that. And we'll, we'll We'll start uh, moving the rooks. Rooks are going to go into uh, activation mode. I'm going to start really using them because they've just been sitting around. And that's my advantage right now. I have an extra rook. So I don't want to waste it. I think he forgot that this is covered. I don't know why he did that. That's kind of dumb. But hey, it is what it is. I'm not too sure what to do. I think I'm going to start pushing pawns. If I start pushing pawns, I might have a chance. Because what I'm thinking is, you know, well, no, because then, yeah. Like, like last time, we want to have our pawns on the opposite side of what he has the most of. So I'm going to guess that this may or may not be a good move. Possibly not. I just kind of wanted to get it out of the way. 
maybe this would have been a better move if he had moved the rook there because my next moves are kind of just, you know, obvious. Uh, so he's going to lose this pawn. Like, the rooks are connected, so it really is just a waste of a, of a pawn if he promotes it. Literally sandwiched between two rooks, but he could think of something really smart right now and absolutely put me on the back foot. Because he could protect the, the pawn here if he goes here. So like, kind of like this idea. And yep, he saw the he saw losing the pawn. And let's see. Uh, yeah, let's start. Let's start taking. Let's start. Ta oh, I should have moved up. You only see it when you see it, you know. Dang. But oh, man. I was thinking about how to utilize the opening now, but it's not happening. Let's see, we're going to have a, pr a pretty good exchange happening pretty soon. I want him to move this bishop to the right, but he's not going to. He's going to move it this way. It's really smart that his king is where it is because it just makes my life harder. And let's see, let's start moving our rooks up because if I can get the rook here, that's a check. <laughs> so it'll be better than just nothing. Let's see. All right, so he's protecting it. Um, and you know what? I am running out of time again. All right. Exchange the rooks. I'm down to 48 seconds. Oh my God, it's like the time just went away from me. Not again. We're up a pawn. We have two two pawns here. If I could start moving my king. Yeah. He's gonna want to move his horse. That best place would be right here. Let's see, that was a waste. Or is he gonna fork me now? Um, oh, what? Okay. Running out of time. Let's stop thinking. Stop thinking about uh, what he's doing. He's not doing anything. Don't worry. Uh, let's just go. Uh, check. Uh, check. Let's go. Yo! 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 Yo, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, I hope he resigns. I don't have enough time, bro. Ah, it's a draw. Okay, at least it's a draw. Ah.
Man. I I think I had the advantage. I, I really do think I was doing pretty pretty well. But I lost that pawn because it's just, you get so stressed. It's just like, dude, like, make a move. It doesn't even make sense to, to not make a move. Just get going. But, yeah, this match, not my favorite. Um, 9.39. See you guys in the analysis. Invictus.